Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, and this time reviewing on Kevin and Perry Go Large. Now, as you know, Kevin and Perry is meant to be based on an old comedy sketch done by Harry Hanfield on his character Kevin the Teenager that was based on a stroppy, moody, inconsiderate and selfish teenager that was based from Henry Hanford's um, television shows like Harry Hanford's television program and Henry Phil's Hanfield and Chums. Now, given the fact that this is meant to be based based in the characters in their own little film, we, you can tell that they spare no expense with this and they even get Ed Bite in this, who is also responsible for the disaster of the Viz comic film Fat, Fat Slags. Now, the premise of the film is basically about Kevin and Perry, who, after unintentionally stopping a bank robbery, and after a few mishaps and getting money, they're basically able to go to Ibiza with their parents, who also chip in to help them um, be there for them. And Kevin and Perry's goal is basically to become world famous DJs and to get laid. So what's interesting is that it's basically a film about Kevin and Perry becoming DJs and being like trying to get the girls of their dreams. Which they also have Gemma and Candice who are meant to be similar to Kevin and Perry and there's hardly anything evolved around them. And you're kind of left wondering, wait, what are they meant to, who are they meant to be in that? What's interesting as well is that they also want to show their song to Eyeball Paul, voice played by the same guy who played um, Dr. Connors from the Amazing Spider-Man films. Now, it's kind of shown that Eyeball Paul has no concern or care for anyone and he clearly uses Kevin and Perry to to do things for him and has no regret, regret in using them. Well it's heavily implied that Kevin and Perry <clears throat> know this but they just play along. <clears throat> mm. So at the same time the film does rely a lot on vulgarities and if you had a drinking game you would probably get drunk by the end of the film. What's actually interesting is that they do change the dad in Kevin and Perry, given the fact that James Feet also replaces Stephen Moore as Kevin's father. So I think James Feet actually does a pretty good job in playing Kevin's dad and looks actually slightly older, I mean younger, to give that kind of middle-aged father feel. Now, at the same time, I kind of wish we could have had Kevin, I mean, we could have had Perry's parents be more involved, since this was like the final entry to Kevin and Perry go to Kevin the Teenager. I would have liked to have seen this. So, pretty much the film relies mainly on DJing, partying, sex, and everything else. And I think they do a perfectly good send-off to Kevin and Perry. So, I would say the difference between Fat Slags and Kevin and Perry is that Kevin the Teenager was a series of sketches, so I do believe that making it a film would work, but I think with Fat Slags was that, no, it wouldn't have worked, but I see what Ed Bite was trying to do. Take one successful thing that he made to try and do another that failed. So, in my opinion, what I think of Kevin and Perry Go Large, it definitely went large with a strong cult following. And I think it's a shame they never did a sequel to show after the events of the film and to see where else it could have gone. So in my opinion, it deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.